So why is your Webflow website distorted on Safari, but perfectly fine on Chrome? So, and how do you fix that? So you've built your website on Webflow, and now it looks perfect on Chrome, it looks perfect on Edge and on Firefox, but then you go on Safari and it looks extremely distorted. But what exactly is causing that? And there should be a quick fix to that, right? Because we know how annoying can that be. And quick note, even if your website is not on Webflow, the distortion error on different browsers can still happen. It's not Webflow's fault. It's the fault of how browsers process the code. And knowing that, now let's see what's causing those distortions. And basically, there is different browser engines, like for example, WebKit, which is used by Apple and Safari was built on it. There is Blink, a browser engine developed as part of the Chromium project. And there's others like Goana or Flow. And every single browser engine process code differently. They have their own standards. And as we know, a website is a set of instructions of how the website should look like. And then it's up to the browser engines to see how they're going to render and read the code um, that is basically composing your website. And then it's, of course, it's going to produce a certain output. And in fact, there is differences in the way the browser is going to interpret the code. So every browser is going to render the page slightly differently, which leads us to say that it's not an error that Safari renders the website differently. It's not an error. It's just the way Safari reads the code. We just have to find a way to make Safari understand that this is not the way you want the code to be read. And how do we do that? First of all, if you don't have a MacBook, you don't have a Safari uh, browser at your hand, at your disposition, then use a tool like BrowserStack. This tool is very useful for simulating, well, sorry, emulating um, different browser systems uh, like Firefox, Edge, Safari uh, on any devices. So you can see how your website is going to load on different devices and on different browsers. This is what is going to help you spot those um, layout distortions. There is many different uh, memberships. However, you don't need all of those. You need this one. You need the one for 29 bucks. And if you're a beginner web designer, you might think, oh, that's so expensive, 29 bucks a month, USD, by the way. Then I have a, <laughs> have a good news because uh, down, uh, if you go down, you can see they have a $12.50 monthly for freelancers for 100 minutes of live, um, of basically 100 minutes of emulating different devices. And honestly, it's completely enough. So I encourage you to take this plan if you don't have an Apple device. And of course, if you have a MacBook or you have an iPhone, then you don't need browser stack. You can just do it in the comfort of your MacBook, I guess. Anyways, so how can we fix those distortions? You have two options. So first option is that you have to find the right parameters in Webflow or any website builder, or even if you build your website by code, you'll have to find the right properties, the right parameters that make sure that Safari and other browsers understand exactly what you're trying to achieve. And your second option is basically if you can't find a solution to make the website render exactly the way you want on every browser, then just hide the issue. Yeah, sad to say, but it's not what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on how to fix it. So let's let's look at it. The first thing I recommend you to check on is make sure that the alignment is in line. I had a lot of errors with flex boxes uh, once I rendered the website on Safari. The reason why is because I don't know, like I'm serious, because sometimes using Flexbox is the right solution. However, sometimes using inline is the right solution. The thing is here, there's no appropriate fix. You have to really try and play with the properties. But if you have a distortion like this one, then most of the time making an inline alignment will fix the issue. And what I found is that if your parameters on Webflow or any other website builder, but I'm talking in Webflow specifically here, 
if they're not specific about exactly what you're trying to achieve with your layout, then Safari just tries to interpret in his eyes how he wants to see the layout. And that's where the distortions happen. So for example, to fix this issue, the only thing we had to do was to align the layout to the top. What that basically did is that it told the browser, I want my icons to be to the top and I don't want them to stretch with the whole layout, with the div it's in. And with Safari, if your parameters are not exactly saying how you want your layout to be, then Safari is just gonna take it for its own interpretation and it's gonna output something ridiculous. But look, most of the time, try to use inline. And in my experience, that solves a lot of issues. For example, here, if you don't say align to the top, Safari is gonna think, oh, well, you didn't indicate how you want it to align. Do you want it to the top, to the bottom? Do you want it stretched? Then I'll just assume it's stretched, so it makes it stretched. So you have to indicate. So when you have errors like this on Safari, where your layout is distorted, try different settings. Now, let's say you have a 3D interaction on your Webflow website and you get a distortion that looks somewhat like this. An inline, in my experience, didn't fix it. I had another error. And basically, in that design, uh, the background has an index of negative one. The reason why the background is negative one is because I didn't want um, the background to intervene with other layout. I just wanted it to be below everything. However, that seemed to confuse Safari. So I had to change the, the background to zero, index zero. And this seemed to fix the whole issue. So as you can see, the solutions to those distortions are always different. That's why I don't, unfortunately, I don't have a clear solution for you in this video. That's why I'm saying try to play around with the inline. If the inline doesn't work, try to play with the in, uh, with the alignment, sorry. If that doesn't work, try to play with the relative absolute values. Try to also play with the index. And those things, they can cause those issues. And I hope that I help you a little bit on how to fix those distortions on Safari. I'm pretty sad to say that I don't have an exact fix, but because there is no exact fix, it's really depends on how Safari wants to render your website and that's not really in our control. But in my experience, being precise with your parameters has, tends to fix the issue. And by the way, because of the fact that those distortion issues don't have a clear fix to them, I'll link a lot of different support groups in Webflow that are basically trying to fix different issues in Webflow. Uh, different type of distortions. This way you can have a look at it. Maybe one of those issues discussed in the forum is an issue that you're having um, with your Safari distortion. Because all of them, I'm telling you, they're different and they have their own characteristics. So go in the description down below and look through those forums and you'll see that they'll probably have a fix to your Safari distortion. So yeah, I mean, if you if that helped you a little bit, then I would appreciate for you subscribing and also liking this video. So I'll try to bring even more content to you about Webflow and about web design, about best practices, about fixes to common problems. And I'll see you in the next one.